at the heart of our republic uh, as it has emerged in the last nearly 250 years. There's been a, an operating system, if you will, that has been in the background, that has often shaped so much of our policy and our laws and our approach to each other as citizens, and that's the operating system of racism. It's part of the original sin of the United States, slavery. This is really important to me because when I was 17, when I enlisted, uh, race really dominated virtually every dimension of the, the world in which we lived when I was a young enlisted man. Uh, and we really weren't sure uh, what the future was going to be of the United States military coming off of so many years uh, in Vietnam. But many of us stuck with it. Uh, and when I would retire in 2013, I saw this process about race and inclusiveness completely turn around. And I have to tell you, I was never more proud than when I watched our young soldiers and Marines, sailors, airmen, serving shoulder to shoulder in combat, whether it was in Iraq or in Afghanistan or in the, the many far-flung places where we are every single day. I saw troops get up under fire and move forward to support each other where they were of different races or different ethnicities or different religions, and in the end, it didn't matter a bit. Uh, when I think back upon those early days when I enlisted in 1971, I can't uh, tell you how proud I am that we as a nation have come this far in our military. Now the question is, having come that far in our military, are we able to imbue our society with the same kind of change that can deal with the issue of racism and discrimination? It's imperative that institutions like Brookings stand for the rights for all that were envisaged by the framers and are, in fact, uh, very carefully enunciated in the Constitution. Brookings is a trusted institution. We're over 100 years old. And we've taken positions, powerful positions, on issues of race and equality, uh, on issues of civil rights. And given the, the nature of the organization, uh, the quality of our scholarship, the people that we have every single day at this institution doing the work uh, of fact-based, data-supported analytics. Uh, this institution has the capacity to write and to make a difference on race and the manifestation of race today, which is discrimination, in ways that very few public policy research institutions can. While we may be nonpartisan, we are not values neutral. Those who have the chance to touch the social fabric of Brookings will see that the values that we stand for and the things that are important to us square directly with Brookings being the solution that we hope it will be as a public policy research institution on issues of racism and discrimination.